everybody we're going to start a new lecture series on the topic of basic control flow this topic also goes by the name of branching or branches also by the name of decision structures so it's a fancy name for having um, if and else branches so anytime you want to make any sort of a decision in your program um, you would need a decision structure to support that which is pretty often uh, the objectives of uh, this lecture series include understanding control structures in processing implementing selection structures um, which is another name for decision structures using various forms of if statements learning to compare integers floating points numbers chars and strings understanding nested uh, program blocks understanding conditional operators and learning how to debug your code now that we are adding all these constructs to our programs so by the end of this uh, lecture series uh, please go back to this slide and make sure you're clear on each and every one of these concepts control structures in processing uh, in this lecture specifically we're going to talk about a simple if statement we're going to talk about if and else um, statements so when we have two choices to make and, and also we're going to talk about nested if and else statements and multi uh, way selection structures when you have more than two points to make and we're going to learn about logical operators as well as comparison structure operators which are pretty straightforward before we get to lecture on this, before we get to the, the, the actual lecture on the material, I would like to go back and um, talk about the challenge that I made last class. Um, in, in, in the last tutorial, I left you with a question. If you recall, we did a simple uh, computer program together and we drew um, a circle and we watched it sort of move on the screen and go um, off the screen and if you recall I said that if you can try to make a program for yourself so that the circle doesn't go out the window so I wanted to first of all do this with you and, and, and of course in doing so we're going to use an if statement and then we're going to go back and, and lecture on this and talk about the syntax and, and everything else so maybe pause the video for a quick second and start processing if you haven't already and program with me so this is going to be a bit of a review but I'm quickly going to start this from uh, from scratch so it's a it's a good refresher for everyone um, so let's say we have we're going to use active mode so we have our setup and we're going to have our draw function so I'm going to basically make this into um, make the size of the screen let's say 500 by 500 I said that I can just draw uh, an ellipse let's position it at 100 and 100 and give it the size 60 by 60 so, so it becomes a circle and if I press run now um, you basically you basically see a circle what's happening is the, the the computer keeps on redrawing the circle because it's in the draw function so we introduced a global variable initialized it to 100 and we came down here and replaced this with x so the reason why we are using a global variable outside the draw you should recall from from last lecture is because if it was inside of the draw function what would happen you would have to re uh, X would be redefined every time uh, draw repeated itself so it would be useless to put it inside inside draw and then like this is a review again so we can just say X plus equal to and if I run this, 
we're going to see the circle going out. Uh, the larger X uh, is, uh, the faster the circle moves. So if I make this into, let's say, 10, of course, um, it just kind of flies out. And you see the circles more clearly a little bit. Um, so let's change it back to 2. And the last thing that we talked about was that if I do, uh, if I call my background function, this thing in R, if I call my background function and I, I redraw the screen every time draw repeats, then uh, I, I redraw it every time I draw my circle. So it looks like an animated uh, circle that, that uh, goes out the screen. So how could I make it not fly out? Well, that's when we need a decision. We need a, we need a branch. So I would basically say, uh, for, I would basically say if the circle gets to the end, um, don't um, increase x, or rather, um, keep increasing x until it reaches to the end. So where is the end? If you look at the screen here. So the screen, this is x at 0, this is x at 500. Okay, so basically, I could say if x is less than 500, in that case, and you haven't taught the syntax yet, so just sort of bear with me, although most of you know this already, but we're going to go through this in detail anyways. So I'm basically saying if x is less than 500, keep increasing x. So if you run this, it goes and it stops. You notice that only half the circle stays in and the other half goes out. The reason is x is actually the center of, of the circle. Right? So I actually need to say in here, instead of x less than 500, I need to say x because this is what I mean, right? Because if this is the screen, this is x. Right? So you basically want x plus radius. So you want this point right here. So if this is x, you want x plus r, which is this radius, to be less than 500, which is this point. So if this is, if this point is x equals 0, this point is x at 500. This here is y at 0. Let's say if this is the screen, this point is y at 500. So basically going back to my processing program, I want to say that if x plus r, and what is r? r is 60 divided by 2, so r is actually 30. Because in our case, don't forget, when we drew our, our circle, it's supposed to, R is 60, right? So R is 60 and half of it is 30. So if R, plus, if X plus R, which is 30 in this case, is less than 500, then keep on increasing. So let's run this program again. All right, we see that it, it stopped. Um, I'll give you another challenge here. Maybe pause the video and, 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 and have the circle go all the way to the end. And then when it, gets to, when it gets to this end, then have it go uh, the other way. So if the circle is here, have it go back to, to the other side. So in the horizontal, the circle keeps on moving. Um, so that's um, that's a that's a good challenge for for now.